Okay, guys, what I've done here is uh, downloaded a simple image of someone kind of doing a screen sort of face, and I'm going to show you what you need to do. Um, first thing you're going to do is make this into a template. So double click on the blue field over here, click on template, and OK. So I can still see the outline of their face, but I can't move it or accidentally draw on it. I'm going to make a new layer. And there are a couple of ways that you can get started with this. You could use the ellipse tool and do a rough outline of the face like this. And then kind of move things in as needed. You know, I'm kind of grab these handles, follow her face. This is totally acceptable if you want to do it like this. Um, another way is to use the pen tool if you want to be a little bit more specific. You can take the pen tool and just kind of roughly draw around her face like this. Either way, works. Okay, once you have this done, um, then you're going to get to your mesh tool. And I'm going to pick a cross piece like that. And then I'm going to make sure that this has, mm, can't make it transparent because it has to have a color to it. But what I can do is Command Y toggles that fill layer on and off. So I'm going to go to Command Y and I'll do another one here, another one here, Another one up there for the mouth. One there. Need to come across for the eyes. Probably three for the eyes. Like that. That's good. And once I have this, I can start having some fun and start moving things around. So I want this to be the eyelid. So I want these to come upward and then come down and then come into each other again. So they get together, then they go out for the eyes, and then they come back in again. So that's kind of how I want to do the eyes. I usually, Whenever I've done this lesson before in the past, I've always started with eyes. There we go. Do the same thing over here. Put this one here and this one here, and then I'm going to pinch these two together. And oh, I need another one in the middle here. So I'm going to go back to my mesh tool, get another one going, and then that way I can pinch these ones in together like this. All right, so now I have a grid set up for the eyes. Remember, it doesn't have to be exact. It just has to be sort of identifiable as eye shape. Okay, then I'll get to the nose. So I need another one going across here. Maybe another one right here. That way I can do the nostrils. Kind of gross. Nostrils. And then another one right here for the septum. Curve this down so it follows that. Bring this up this guy over, bring this guy up, bring this guy over. So now I have a nose shape kind of thing. Now for the mouth. Definitely going to want some more mesh lines here for the mouth. So I can have a row for teeth and a row for lips and another row for these lips. So I'm going to start with the teeth. So here's teeth. Here's teeth, here's teeth, right here, and then here's top of the teeth, bottom of the lip, top of the teeth, bottom of the lip, and then I've got this one for the upper lip right here. Curl this bad boy up a little bit. There. All right. Then this will be for my edge. Notice I'm staying in the same general path. I'm going to move 
these up so I have a spot for the mouth to end. And then finally down here, I've got the lips. There we go. On the side over here. Okay. Now that I have this, I can start having some real fun. So I'm going to back this out, and I'm going to look at these eyes right here. Well, I know that I want this guy and this guy to hold down shift. I want them to be really dark. So let me get to my swatches, and we'll open hmm, neutrals. So then I have some grays and darks in there. So get you in there, and I'll get you in there, and you in there. All right. I want them to be black. And then the area around, make those be kind of a gross gray color. I know I just recolored the center one. So then I got to go back and make these center points black. Make that center point black. And Command Y to see what it looks like. That looks pretty disgusting so far. That's good. Now, maybe I'll go and highlight the rest of the top here. Make all these kind of a grayish color. Command Y. All right, get in there. All of these guys and make them kind of a uh, that color. All right, now I can go in here and just grab like these, make that black. I'm gonna want these to be black too, so it doesn't look like a smiley face anymore. This one over here, if that's too smiley for you, change it up a little bit. All right. Okay, we're in pretty good shape. So now I have my ghost face that I can use for, you know, whatever. Now if that looks too much like a mask, you know, like a raccoon mask, you can change these always. You know, maybe make those guys a gray color, make these guys a gray color, you know, whatever. These, make those a gray color. You can make them gray. Um, if you think this is too, I don't know, friendly looking, you can always open this up a little bit up here by selecting some of these. Make them black. And then you can finally, you can always reshape manually, moving these out. Pulling these guys down. Like that. That's a little bit scarier. Okay. Once you have this, you can turn off the template. And then you're going to add a rectangle tool that we're going to make into a uh, wave. We're going to warp 
flag vertical. Maybe we'll do it like that much. That looks good. And then once again, you can, it'll come back, don't worry. So watch this. Go to my lasso tool. Take these guys here and make them darker. These guys here, make them darker. And then I can start using these individual items to bend stuff in or bend things out as needed. If you want to do all those like that guy just did one at a time, you want to do a whole bunch of them at once, you can always do that by just grabbing the lasso tool and grabbing all of these. You can just move them all down quickly at once. If that's more your speed. But I kind of like doing them one at a time. Then you get this blobby sort of shape here. you can use. And we'll move that underneath him. If I lock down the head, then I can use the lasso tool to start changing up some of these colors. I can maybe give that more of a background color like that. So I'm just doing the body. I haven't done arms yet, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Take that guy, make that go up all the way. Maybe have this one kind of come over and shade it a little bit. All right. Then, if I'm, when I get that to where I like it, then I'll make another layer for the arms. And for this one, this is pretty easy. Just grab a pen tool. Something like that. Doesn't have to be very much here. Um, and then obviously you want to put them underneath the guy. And then same kind of thing. I'm going to add a couple meshes to it. And then grab the lasso tool and start having fun. I would start at lighter gray. Well, you're going to have the illusion of shadow. So I'm going to grab like half. Yeah, make them like this. And then maybe the other half. To be darker. Yeah. So I want the upper half where the light is to be a lighter gray. Something like that. And then obviously you want to play around with it. Get it so it's not quite so smooth. You want it to be a little more bulgy, I know. Definitely don't want smoothness. You can pull these down, make it look like, you know, draping things. 